Oh, here we go. Okay. Welcome to TOV Live. It is Valhalla time. That it is in here. All of a sudden. <laughs> I, th I think Joe Crazy's right. I think I need to do um like uh, some <laughs> some uh, keyboard switcheroos uh, for for this. That would probably help a lot here. Uh, here, hold on a moment. Let me get this off. All right, great, great. Uh, uh, as everybody doing tonight, I am Ryan Tales of Valhalla. And well, what can I say? All the effects for the last three episodes of Tales of Valhalla season three are completed. And now all that's left between me and finally getting this series complete at least this you know three season uh series story arc completed is the sound the audio you know some some color correction and doing end credits but and then and then music and that's it um and the question is can i do this in like a month excuse me the rest of this editing because my target dates i'm not going to announce these I'll just tell you what my idea is. My target dates for releasing these episodes would be in May. Uh, for ep for season three, episode eight, season three would be May third, and, and I mean when it comes to release, I mean premiere. Premiere episode eight, season three, May, Wednesday, May the third, and then episode nine, season three, Sunday. May the 7th, and then the final, Season 3, Episode 10, Season 3, Wednesday, May the 10th. You know, back to back, just live stream, live stream, live stream, premiere, premiere, premiere. Get them all out back to back consecutively, so you all can just see, you know, the final a vision of this and again i apologize for taking so long for doing these it's life and just editing and it's basically it's been a one-man studio <laughs> uh if i if i do a future season again it's just not going to be me anymore it's going to be it's going to be a lot more people but it's uh yeah getting close to wrapping up so i mean so may 3rd 7th and 10th is when i plan to release these although no official thing yet because there is a chance that I might have more time than I thought because I thought I was going to do initially do those dates because I didn't have much time late later in May late later in May um, I didn't I, I thought I was going to be not be able to do anything um, with editing just other things going on if you heard a dog barking in the background from my microphone I can hear it in, through my headphones some neighbor's dog or some I apologize anyway um, but it turns out that I actually do have do have more time so I will just, uh, um, so I, I still want to shoot for those May target dates, but if, if like by like the last two weeks of April, if I'm not, if I'm not down to where I'm just editing the music, um, then I might have to extend, uh, those release times, but I'll, I'll know by mid April, I'll know, I'll know. And I mean, I've, I've like, I'm, I'm keep I'm going through these episodes. Um, I've synced up. Uh, the voiceovers now um, tonight I'm just going to start um, well, with with these audio voiceovers um, just gonna start smoothing things out it's good to like uh, make sure there's no like direct cutoff sometimes with with the voiceovers so just to make you know voiceover sound smoother I'm gonna just start adjusting these and while I'm doing that I'm gonna be playing I think I'll start season one um because i might be going for a bit I, I, this is episode eight I, I might try to do as much as i can um maybe try to get all three episodes of like the main voiceovers uh done tonight to just get them smoothed out and then um, i'll have to add additional voiceovers as well as i mean the sound effects so probably um this coming oh and another thing this coming sunday there'll be no live stream um i will be out of town actually um, or I, I will be just out of reach of my computer. Uh, but next Wednesday, we'll definitely be just starting to lay down the sound effects, the movement effects, um, the sounds for the special effects, hopefully. And just like starting to get this done. Now, you see something here. I'm going to start expanding this out a little bit. 
this is probably one of my favorite effects um, out of all the episodes. Is th This is like, see this fire? Now, this is actually a 3D printed fire here. But, and actually I can show it here. Hold on one, one second, one second. Here, let me get a Mario snake there. But, whoops. Okay. If it'll play for me, hold on. All right, here, I'm just gonna re redo it. Hold on, hold on a moment, hold on a moment. Let me show this real quick. All right, now you notice there's a little effect there, but this is a 3D print of high ground tiles fire. Um, you, can, you can see some of the edges here of uh, the fire 3D print, but I decided also to put this digital fire effect in it too and it matches so good I don't know, for some reason like these three all these three episodes there's, there's a lot of insane effects but this is one of my favorite uh just seeing this fire go and them just looking at the fire you know trying to stay warm yeah let me just let me just there let me just let me just play a second and so you can see it kind of a little bit in the background there then there it goes and you, know, you got guys sleeping and then in the background and watch how this fades like it's just it's just such a really really cool how, how to get it faded it looks like it's it belongs in that background so thank you high ground tiles uh for and they, they they gave it to me as a gift they gave me a few 3d prints as a gift and that was that fire was one of them and so yes thank you high ground tiles for that it's um it's a lovely thing um and so here I'm not going to show too much of that, though. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, so that is what we're going to do tonight. And, and hello to everybody watching. I know, I, I, I want to say also, before I get started with the editing, just thank you. Thank you to everybody who um, has been commenting on some of these last few live streams. And uh, I, I always appreciate the comments, the hellos, the questions, um, uh, the co conversations. Um, even if I'm hard at work, even if i got a deadline, shouldn't it stop you from saying hi asking me a question you know talking it i i i do sincerely uh, in, enjoy that and t taking you know whatever pause pauses i need to take it, it is all good um and uh yeah so yeah yeah again appreciate it appreciate appreciate the interaction the, the comments that that type of support that's given uh to the people on youtube the likes the views always good yep and so how about I get started real quick here, hold on. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, turn off the background music and I'm just gonna start uh, season one. I will do that. So again, anybody has a comment, feel free to comment. If not, I'm gonna mute my microphone and get to work. Okay, uh, Kaizuki, you just want to say hi. Okay, I'm just going to here. I'm just going to lower this a second, and I'm just going to tell you hi back, and thank you for always watching and chiming in. Lovely, lovely to have you on here watching the wonderful. I'm actually falling asleep. I'm falling asleep working on my own sound. Because <laughs> it's just, this is the most, one of the most boring parts of editing is is working on <laughs> the sound it's so tedious but anyway i'm focused all right back to it here i'm just making a pause one second that that shot that you just saw above my head with the air elemental appearing in that little cavern when I took that shot, like like I understand in season one, the the visuals in season one are rudimentary compared to season two and three. That's because I was still learning on how to do things with the you know stop motion animation, what software to use and such. But that one shot in season one with the air elemental in that cave with the lighting and um, just just the focus and everything just seemed to go through like 
clear. Everything just clicked with that with that one shot with the air elemental appearing. I knew I could make things better. As when I did that shot and I saw the results of it, I knew I could make things better. And from that one shot, the idea came to be like, you know, if I could do it better, then why not just why don't I just make future seasons? And seasons two and three ended up being inspired um, because I knew I could do things better visually um, than what I did with season one. Um, so yeah, there there's a there's a little history. Uh, a segment there on my thinking process when I when I started things out. Okay, I see. Okay, we're wrapping up on season one here, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on. The break because it's been an hour so I, I finished uh, the adjusting the audio voiceovers that I have so far in here now there are some a couple of voiceovers I need to add to this episode um, but I'll do that at a different time but as of right now at least I got those adjusted so I am going to move on to the next episode and start adjusting the audios on those as well and so not bad for about an hours worth of work there at least you know it's getting done a little bit a little bit at a time but yeah let me i'll close this out and be on a break for a second but i'll be back call it a night. Then almost two hours worth of it, and that's good. My body is just actually starting to be like, it's telling me, Ryan, you need sleep. So I'm going to listen to the call. It's okay. We still have plenty of nights in the coming month to where we're going to be up a lot later trying to wrap this up. So it's coming. Um, and maybe I just need a little bit of a break at, for the end of this week and then starting next week next Wednesday we're gonna really hit this hard um, so again for this coming Sunday I will not be live streaming I will not be at my, at my computer or be able to access my computer so um, it's just sometimes that happens one of those things but next Wednesday I'm gonna be right back at the editing of season three of Tales of Valhalla for sure again I'm Ryan. Hope you all have a wonderful night and a wonderful rest of the week. And what can I say? Uh, thank you for all your support. Um, join our Discord. And there's some. There's been some things. I don't know when we're going to talk about on the TV podcast, but there's some, been some just things just happening just tonight of some people within the HeroScape community announcing some things. Uh, having to do with the Age of Annihilation that uh, we might talk about the TOV podcast. Well, not the next couple, but I, yeah, it, it will be talked about sometime in the future because it um, seems exciting. Anyway, I think I will say that that's all I need to have to say tonight. And my, my brain is shutting down. Every, everything's shutting down. I need to sleep. So anyway, you have a purpose in your life. Find it, pursue it, live it. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now. I was planning to be streaming for at least another hour, but you know what? I, I keep on falling asleep. I was munching on some trail mix trying to keep myself awake, but it's just hot. It's sweaty here. 
and apparently I didn't get, I didn't get enough sleep. Oh, I always don't get enough sleep because I'm always working on this thing. But um, I can tell why my body's dropping, and it's dropping. Um, so here, hold on one moment. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna turn this off. Here, hold on one moment. Yeah, okay, just turn it off and turn this background music on. All right, background music is on. And let me just wrap things up. So I nearly got all of episode eight, the movement sounds, just the movement sounds. There's still a lot more sounds to do, but the movement sounds for episode eight is nearly complete. And that's fine. I, you know, part of me is just like, I really don't want you to see what's in this last little bit episode too much anyway, because there's tons of spoilers right there. So I'm just going to do this when I wake up in the morning and then continue on. And hopefully by next Sunday, I'll be done with movement sounds for all three episodes and we'll move into hopefully effect sounds or some type of, some type of other sounds I gotta lay down. Cause I, I gotta get this stuff like rapidly done. My goodness, time is running out. But with that, I will bid you all a good night. Um, yeah, so I will, again, I'll stream again this Sunday and hopefully this Sunday it'll be longer than just the um how, how long it is uh, just the hour and a half that i've done tonight hopefully hopefully it will be up to midnight or something because i really i really need a night or 10 nights to, 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 to power through all this stuff so god give me strength please uh, but i can tell my body says rest i need to rest so i'm gonna go do that um I will uh, just then close the live stream and should I, should I read? I, I think, or wait, hold on one second. Um, I don't know if I should read Jeremy's channel or if Jeremy's still around. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, it looks like uh, Jeremy is uh, up there, so I'm just going to read his channel, and um, yeah, that that will be uh, that then. Um, so, uh, but those of you, uh, so I read, um, I'm going to read Jeremy's Twitch channel, but for those of you on YouTube, um, this is just going to be, that's it for, for the night, so. I will sign off by saying you have a purpose in your life. Find it, pursue it, live it, and we'll see you guys this Sunday as we edit more of this. Good night. Bye. Welcome to TOV Live. It is Valhalla time. And yes, I'm starting a little bit early tonight because I'm going to end a little bit early tonight. So, hey, wait a second. Okay, let me get this up here. Wait, wait, wait. There we are. Hey, how are everybody doing tonight? Happy Sunday to you all. Oh, happy uh, Pashka. If uh, you know what that is, let me know in the chat. Any of you language aficionados out there, if you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. What is Pashka? Hmm. Hmm. Or leave a comment on this video if you, if you see the recording of this um, on YouTube. Um, even though I do, like, for these live streams, I do leave them unlisted. Anyway, hi, I'm Ryan, Tales of Valhalla, the guy who is creating the stop-motion HeroScape adventure based off the board game HeroScape called Tales of Valhalla The Aftermath Chronicles, which we have Season 1, Season 2 in full on YouTube, and we're currently working on the end of Season 3. And so that is what I'm doing right now. As from last Wednesday night when I was falling asleep, I'm working on movement sounds. Well, I've moved from movement sounds to from on episode 9 to the movement sounds on episode 10. And episode 10 is over a half hour long. And so I'm going to be doing movements, some movement sounds tonight for like the next uh, hour, hour and a half or so. We'll see. I'll probably go until like, until like 10 o'clock Eastern maybe. And then I have an early morning that I got to get up um, and, and do things. And today, today's been kind of a, like, I've been trying to do this today. I've been, I've been working on this in and out today. I was hoping to do, like, finish it all by the end of day today. It's just a lot of stuff. And I was doing other things. I was uploading the TOV podcast. Yes, I also help, you know, do the TOV podcast every other Sunday, usually. And 
So, and I've been behind in that because I've been doing this, and also taxes. Taxes are a thing too. I think there's like a week and a half left of doing taxes before um, well, before the deadline. Um, so I was I spent half the day doing that today as well. It's nuts. Anyway, and all, all all the time I'm thinking I need to get season three done because well, I'll know whether or not by next week if we're going to be releasing these episodes in early May. Most likely not because it's just way too much still a lot of audio work still left to do um but i'll announce that like i'll, I'll know if, i'll know, pretty much know this coming wednesday i don't know for sure next sunday um we might have to bump it up but may is definitely the target month so I mean, it might not be first few weeks of may but it's definitely going to be may that we're going to release this thing it needs to get out it needs to get out i need to be done after seven years <sighs> anyway how are you all doing tonight um I guess if anyone wants to say hi, have a conversation, any questions or about anything, um, feel free to leave a comment in the chat. Um, but if you're just there looking or about, that is good too. I'm going to mute my microphone and I'm going to play something above me. Uh, I think I'll just start season three. Why not? I'll just um, do what we have released of season three above me and I'm going to start getting to work for the next hour. So. How about we get started? So that is all we got for tonight then. It's been an hour and 12 minutes. So I'm gonna call it a night here. I'll give you all a little bit of a taste of what this all sounds like before we go, okay? Let me just bring this up. So movement sounds here. Movement sound and um, for all one of you watching, here's the instructional property. Okay, so this is, um, the, the sound for this is actually just a belt um, whooshing in there. Someone's just uh, throwing it around the air, and this is the sound that I got it to make. Hear that distinct little flump? That's just a belt sound, but um, you you just lower the volume a little bit on it, and, and it just sounds like, as long, and as long as you get it, you know, with, with a miniature, it's... Um, it's convincing, convincing, you know. Puts it in its environment, and this, you know, this louder sound, yeah, belt whoosh as well. Um, so I got like a really loud type of whoosh and a softer sounding whoosh, depending on how they're moving. So here, let me bring this one. Okay, so this is the louder whoosh. See, a lot more distinct, a lot more louder, and so that's more for the um the really sudden and stronger movement. So if it was, um, let's see here. So here's this, uh, this stinger here, just waiting to be pummeled by the Zute. And so at the point of impact, that's where I'd probably put this. And I also do like a, I also have a hit effect that I'm going to put later, but right now it's just, it's just movement. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, actually, I'm going to put it where I, oh, this guy, because he kind of hits the, the stinger hits the side of the wall there too. So I'm going to add a little bit of movement effect for that as well. Yep, so two hits. Zute hits the stinger, the stinger hits the wall, and then the stinger hits the ground. <laughs> and not the stinger's best day, probably. Anyway. All right, so that is that for tonight. Like I said, I just I couldn't stay up too late tonight. Got to get to bed early. Lots of things to do uh, early tomorrow. 
But let's see here. Well, so we did a fair good chunk for an hour's worth, like I said. When I get done with these movement sounds, there's still a lot of sounds to do, but not as much as these movement sounds. So I just I just got to get it through. It's a huge just mm, log that you got to cut through. But not done yet. Not done yet. So like I said, we'll see where I'm at come Wednesday. Hopefully this Wednesday. Um, these will all be done. I'll have I'll spend enough time to where these will all be done, and then we can move on to other sound effects. But uh, this is taking longer than I thought it would. I'm just telling you that I feel like that little this little uh, stinger right here, all alone and isolated, and not knowing what to do. But the only thing I can do really is press on and uh, just continue until it's done. And if I gotta you know, scale back the uh, the dates of when these release, and that's what I gotta do. So with that, I thank all of you for watching, and again, happy Pashka to you. Again, if you know what that is, leave a comment if you're watching this on YouTube. And yes, I do post these videos, like these live streams, these editing live streams. I tend to post them unlisted, although I'll leave it um uh as as visible tonight and then um unlisted means that you uh if you were notified then you just um click the notification link um if you're notified of this live stream and then you should be able to see it and, and save it if you're so inclined to watch it i don't know anyway we'll see you guys next wednesday for more of the video editing i'm ryan tells of Bahala. You all have a good night. You have a purpose in your life. Find it, pursue it, live it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Welcome to TOV Live. It is Valhalla time. Happy, happy, happy. Wait, where's that? Where happy Wednesday night, early Wednesday night. I'm like starting like about a half hour early when I usually start. I just had. Mm, I'm ready to go so I just decided okay let's let's do this get started a little bit early probably uh, finish a little early tonight because for some reason I don't know if it's my age or just the fact that I've been like editing this show for like 10 years but I'm starting not off when I'm working on this live streaming at night um, it's not that my interest is you know lessened but you know it's just uh, I need sleep I just I can't wait till these episodes are done and this the season is done so I can finally rest a little bit. Anyway, how's everybody doing? I'm Ryan, Tales of Ahala. The guy who is currently producing, directing, editing, all this stuff. Tales of Ahala, the Aftermath Chronicles, which is a stop motion Heroscape adventure based off the board game Heroscape. And so tonight, I'll catch you up on real, all y'all on real quick um, about what's going on during this editing process here. See, we're working on episode eight right here. Um, so I have all the movement sounds done, and it took me until this morning to get them all done on episode ten. And it's, I mean, I could show you, I could show you all the here. Let me just do it real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me bring it and pop it up. Hopefully, hopefully it won't destroy anything here, I hope. I hope. Here, hold on a second. Alright, so that's that. Okay, this, this is the... This is the episode 10 file. Here, hold on. Let it load. Let it load, let it load. And... So, for this, okay. So this is this is episode ten here. This is like a video file and some of the audios that I already have, you know, in, in the timeline on HitFilm. And then all these little, they're actually very small, like one second or so pieces here. Hold on. Of just little movement sounds of of the miniatures moving. And it, this is for episode ten. Yeah, it's it it's a lot. It's a lot, so that it took about a week to do to get all these sound of just just movement sound effects. I still have other sound effects to put in, um, 
But yeah, just these. So yeah, it, it took some time applying all, all this stuff down here. So rendered that and I have to like go through episode 10, view it and just make sure because I, I noticed there's still things I kind of need to cut where some scenes or shots are st probably still like a couple of seconds wait, a couple of seconds too long. I need to cut through that before I you know start adding more like sound effects into like r right here. But anyway, the movement effects I think were the biggest were the biggest effects um, that needed to be done. There's still a lot of effects that need to be due, but that was the major chunk. So right now I'm going back to episode eight and going to apply effects that are like falling. Um, and here, let me just let me show you all what 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 the falling effects sound like. Here, hold on. A I'm just gonna turn this on. Hold on. And let me just give you all the uh, let's see. see, nice little little duffel bag type sounds. So that's why the sound I'm going to use for uh, characters falling. Excuse me. I'm going to apply it to episode eight and see what else whooshes and stuff I can apply. Because I don't think there's going to be much for episode eight. It's going to be episode nine and ten. They're going to be the fun ones, but. Uh, currently, what I need to do, and here I'm just gonna give that a second. Currently, what I need to do with episode nine and ten, though, is that see, okay, I'm bringing a film, a film here. I am rendering um, the audio, the movement audios to the uh, to the timeline here, and so I have to re-render the video and all the other audios that I've done with you know, voiceovers, other voiceovers, and then, then now, you know, movement sounds and such. Um, so that way it's all just one, one slot on the timeline so I can add more audio effects and, and put a bunch in here. So those are being rendered. So once I get episode nine done, if I, if I um, get the falls done, with this episode, by the time this renders, then I'll probably, you know, work work on that. I'll I'll, I'll get the the project file open for episode nine and start adding falls to episode nine because there's a ton of falls for episode nine and ten. So no shortages of that there. So I think that's what we're gonna do tonight a little bit. Uh, probably it's here. It's nine o'clock. We'll see how long I can go. Um, it'll probably just be until ten ten thirty, another short night, and then this Sunday, another POV podcast. But I'll probably talk. A little bit more about that before I wrap things up here tonight. Anyway, lovely for all of you to be watching, all one of you. And how about we just get started? Um, yeah, okay. Background music, gonna turn that down just a little bit because I think it's a little high. And so I'm just gonna get to work then. And I am gonna play, how much should I play? I'll just do season two. I might skip a couple of boring places, but yeah, I'll just start with season two. And um, while you're watching it, and just uh, mute my microphone. And if anybody has a comment or any questions, again, I'll unmute my microphone if anybody's got anything to say. And let's get started. <laughs> Okay, I think it's been just about an hour, so I am going to, actually right there, one hour, hit the one hour mark right there. I'm going to call it a night. I'm already drooping um, for sleep and catch up on rest. Make sure I catch up on rest for the Sunday night too. And yeah, and just chat's pretty boring tonight because no one's chatted. <laughs> But that's okay. I hope people got things to do, and um, it's great to have an, great to have someone to talk to sometimes. But I understand when y'all out there cannot. Um, but anyway, what was I gonna say? I don't know what I'm saying. Um, oh yeah, let's pause. All right, here background music. Hold on. 
Okay. There's background music. All right. So here, I'm gonna turn. So that's like around. Okay. I'm just gonna do. So I'll save that for season like next Wednesday because we're gonna do a TV podcast this Sunday. Um, I'll try and remember to hit, put season two around this mark. But yeah, here. I what was I gonna say? I, my my brain, like I said, it's just not functioning correctly. But okay, so here's the dealio. Um, I know for sure that uh, come the Sunday. I'm not going to have all all the checklist of things that I needed to get done for for these three episodes before I start working on music. It's just uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to have enough time. It's uh, time has pretty much it has run out for me because um, I I told myself okay first two weeks of April get everything done and it's just not done. I I got a good chunk done, but I know I'm not going to be close. Excuse me. Um, so that means that the release dates for these episodes are going to be delayed um, until, and I'll know when I'll release these things is when I'll know when I'll start working on the music. I'll start working on the music and then within basically, it'll take me two weeks to work on the music, I hope. And And so when I start working on those, kind of two, no, two weeks, maybe another week to prepare. So I'm hoping mid to end May, these will be out. If it's early June, okay, fine, but that's stretching it a little, little late. Um, like I said, it's just going to be probably a little delayed now, and hopefully not too much. Like I said, I'm working as fast as I can on these things, but it, it def definitely is not going to be the first two weeks of May that this gets released. So just TBA basically, um, to, and TBD to be determined when I get the stuff done. Um, yeah, but last more to review. I want to make sure it's as good as it can get for y'all when I do release it. I mean, obviously, I'll probably do tweaks and stuff in the future, but I want to get this stuff as as good and pristine as I possibly can. So, given it all my last effort, but anyway, in order to do that, I need rest. So, what I'm going to do. You sign off here with y'all. Have a good night, and of course, we'll see you Sunday for the TOV podcast. You have a purpose in your life. Find it, pursue it, live it. We'll see y'all next time. Bye now. Welcome to TOV Live. It is Valhalla time. Welcome, welcome, everybody, tonight to. Uh, the TOV live stream. I am Ryan, Tales of Valhalla, and of course we have editing we got to do tonight. Going to get to work on it in a minute, and of course while I'm doing all the editing for the last three episodes of Tales of Valhalla Season 3, Tales of Valhalla being a stop-motion adventure based off the board game Heroescape, I... I got some I got some updates on the editing stuff, which is unfortunately gonna have to be like release date, of course. It has to be delayed a little bit. Get into that in a minute, but um I think I'll like start in the middle of season two. Um and play above my head in a minute. But first, um I just wanted to say, and I'll say this at the end of the end of the stream as well, that um this Sunday won't be live streaming. Um, there's some there's some things that I gotta handle, take care of, so no live stream come Sunday, and yeah, and I'll mention that near the end of the live stream as well. I don't, and I don't know how long I'm gonna stream tonight. Uh, I mean, I I'd probably be for an hour and a half or so. Now let me get to what is going on with the editing of these last three episodes. Um, good news is that episode eight, um, besides the color correction and the music, it's pretty much done. I have I have all the sounds for that, but that's the easiest episodes to put sounds in. Um, and I'm currently working, actually kind of simultaneously, both 
uh, episodes 9 and 10 here, um, adding just the movement sounds, um, there hasn't been much time to do much audio work uh, the last few days. Like I said, just there's just some things happening uh, personally. And so uh, my times or my focus is kind of off this, even though I still try and do something every day on this. And of course, the TOV podcast stuff. Um, there's at least one segment of last Sunday's TOV podcast that I'm trying to get rendered and out by the end of this week um, because I know some people are asking for it, even though that in itself we were talking about uh, C3V, uh, HeroScape stuff, and had a very good conversation. Um, but that's, that segment itself is like an hour long. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, but that's, that, that should be out in the next, uh, day or two. And, but the, the rest of the segments from the TV podcast from last TV t podcast and then TV podcast before, is just going to be running a little bit late just because, um, I have other responsibilities and, um, I'm also taking up my time trying to edit these episodes as much as possible too. I have a lot on my hands tonight. Anyway. I am going to get to work, and of course, if uh, you're watching this uh, live, and when it, while I mute, mute my microphone, if anyone wants to say hi or ask a question, I'll unmute the microphone, but in the meantime, I'm going to start editing, and I will play some of Season 2. I need to say all that again because I need to turn that down anyway okay so like I was saying for tonight what I have or what I've done is um, did more of the movement sounds for episode 9 um, got completed with certain sounds I wanted to complete added some grenade explosions added some uh, wing flapping because uh, Raylan's wings sound like they're flapping you know and now I'm adding like doing movement sounds for episode 10 which will take a long time. I mean, I did already did like a slew of movement sounds. Now these are just a little bit neater, like, like um, falling sounds. If 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 a miniature hits the ground, then you want a different type of sound of, of a miniature hitting the ground and making whooshes and other things like that. But I am kind of sleepy. I said I was going to go for an hour and a half, and it turns out just barely an hour for this one. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and again. This Sunday, I will be in here. I'm just going to turn season two off here. Yeah, hold on. There, okay. Just going to turn the background music on. All right. So, yes, for this Sunday, I will not be live streaming. Um, like I said, there are some personal things happening. And which I'll, I might explain sometime in the future, um, but uh, it's just going to delay things because um, it's going to prevent me from editing as much as mu as hard as I want to at the, at the moment. Um, but editing is getting done, even if it's a, just a few, even if I only can get in just like a shorter time during the day, I'm I'm getting it done, and it's slowly coming along. So. Yeah, until next Wednesday. Be doing more of this, I guarantee you. Um, I will see all of you later then. Um, thank you for anybody who was just joining, lurking around. Again, always appreciate comments. Always, um, you know, like, subscribe uh, to you, YouTube channel, the Twitch channel here. Or not subscribe. You don't really need to subscribe to my Twitch channel. Just follow me because there's I really don't have any subscription thing set up. I mean, it's nice that you do it. If, if you do it, I know some people have hit the subscribe thing to Twitch. Um, but it's not a necessary thing. I mean, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Here I'm shooting myself in the foot. Anyway, I thank all of you again for watching, and you have a purpose in your life.
find it, pursue it, live it. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye now. Hey yo, welcome to TOV Live. It is Valhalla time and it's Wednesday night. And it's been a little while. Hey, let me get this up here. Hello. Oh, one of you watching. Hi, how's it going? I'm Ryan, Tales of Valhalla. It is Wednesday night, and my goodness, has it been a week since I've been last on with you, all one of you watching. How are we doing tonight? I am, well, let's just say <laughs> um, there's been an effort uh, put in place. I'm not going to say much, um, but uh, how can I put it? Um, I know, I think my goal for... Uh, getting season three finished um like the last three episodes of season three done was to release the last three episodes on may the third the seventh and the tenth so basically within a week or two that's not going to happen um and part of it has to do with the fact that i haven't got everything edited that's a part of it but there's another the reason why i haven't got everything edited is because um, there has been a situation in my personal life um, where um, me and my family uh, had to step up um, and help somebody. And it's taken a lot of our time, uh, a lot of our effort, and it still will <clears throat> in the coming weeks and, and probably months. Um, now, that's not saying that I haven't continued editing. I have. I'm doing as much stuff as I can, but this last weekend I was out of town for pretty much all the weekend um, helping uh, uh, this person. And hopefully someday soon I'll get be able to get into more detail about it. There are some people um, within my uh, TOV, uh, like podcast pod, um, who know, know more details. Um, but uh, let's just say that... Um, I'm not going to turn my back on someone in need, and I know that I can help them, even if it means sacrificing um, time from this and, and other things. Um, I'm going to, if, if, if I have an opportunity um, and, and I have the means, then I'm going to do it. So that's what I've been doing. Um, now, that, that being said, um, I am going to do some of this work tonight. I mean, I... I I still have been ebbing away at some of the sound effects. Um, by the way, hi to everybody who's who's joining the stream tonight. Um, and still, we'll do this Sunday. We'll do a TV podcast. Should be a fun one. Um, we're going to be talking, I think, about ScapeCon, the upcoming ScapeCon. We're going to have some, we're going to probably have some spe some special guests on board, well known within the uh, HeroScape community. So that will be very fun this Sunday to to do that. Um, but yeah, for this, let's see here, this is episode 10, and of course, half hour long, and I'm just going to start, get to work on this, um, just give me one moment, I'm gonna burp, uh, excuse me, if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to ask about the filmmaking, actually, and I do want to mention one thing too, is that I was looking at, um, some of my behind the scenes videos that I did for season one because this is season three that I'm working on but and these behind the scenes videos are like seven what seven eight years old something like that and I'm just like well I had more hair back then <laughs> um and but it, it's funny to go through or it's interesting to go through and see the process that I had when it came to starting this and how I explain it. I, I think I actually explain it pretty well um these these uh production diaries and stuff. I, I actually might replay these on a stream someday after season three is done, just to maybe have have a couple of people on and, and talk and talk about them. Um, but yeah, I just can't believe it's almost been ten years since I started this channel. It, it's you know another year and then boom, there are ten years. I feel like I've done a lot, yet I have not done enough. <laughs> just that, that's how it goes. Anyway. Um, Hi to everybody. And again, if you want to comment, feel free to comment, say hi, ask a question. But until that time, I'm going to mute my microphone, uh, get to work. Um, let me start 
by Plane Season 2. So those of you who might be coming on thinking, what is this person talking about? Um, I'll give you an introduction into what I do on this channel when it comes to stop motion animation of HeroScape miniatures. So how about I play that above my head, get to work. Again, any highs or any questions, I'll unmute my microphone. But until that time, enjoy the content. All right, just coming back on for a second. Um, continuing, of course, with the audio movement editing stuff. But um, what I'm going to do is, as long as nobody minds, um, I, I realized that I did have my background music playing during the beginning of season two. I apologize for that uh, segment. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead in season two and get to uh, the episode uh, Spider Hunt, because that's when season two gets really fun unless you want to see the orcs um orc fight the orc fight's fun too let me try and skip ahead of the orc fight then then i'll skip to spiders when i see the orc fight is done um and just try to skip past these fillers um because i know they're boring and might not have much time enough time tonight so here let me do this yeah let me go there all right and yeah i'll continue it there and yeah, I'll just skip ahead to uh, the fun battle parts as best as I can. And if you want to watch the whole season two and three, you can just go on YouTube. Anyway, okay, let me do that. going on hey where did toothpick go he got taken i saw the last few seconds of what happened that was a moral teleporter they could be anywhere in valhalla now no no darn it Okay, hold on, hold on a moment, hold on a moment, hold on a moment. I just want to say that if you are watching this at around 56 minutes into this stream, give or take a few minutes, because sometimes I cut this, um, I just fell asleep. <laughs> uh, I was just like, okay, I'm going to put my head back just as like, kind of like, I am feeling tired. Um, and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to put my head back just to whoever's watching just to you know, have some fun. And I actually did nod off for a few seconds. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, okay, maybe those few seconds will help me uh, recover to continue doing this. <laughs> All right. All right, let me continue. <laughs> Okay, with uh, the background of the end of Season 2 uh, behind me, I'm going to basically pretty much call it a tent night tonight. Um, like I said, it's it's a long week. It's going to continue being a long week, and weeks, months, <laughs> however long it is to, uh, to help uh, a person in need, as I was saying at the beginning of this live stream but I did a good hours work in I got most of the sound effects I wanted um, in I just didn't want to cover like I see I still have I still have um, ways to go but I don't want to cover anything too spoiler ish I did skip some parts and I don't want to enter any more live um, because I do want some things to be a surprise and so uh, yeah I'm going to end it now because I got nothing else um, 
planned on to uh, to edit tonight without it being kind of spoilerish. And it's been an hour, been almost been an hour exactly, and I, I don't know. I know I know I usually do longer live streams, um, at least t ten to twenty minutes longer, but eh. uh, like I said, I'm tired. Um, and what was I gonna say? Well. Uh, the background of season two is behind me. I I I forget. Oh yeah, again, I fell asleep on the live stream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, this Sunday, definitely gonna have TV podcast, and it will be a few hours, and we will. Looks like we will be talking about ScapeCon, upcoming ScapeCon in August with with some, I think some special guests, special people. Gonna have a lot of fun doing that. And I'm going to continue hacking away at this. I mean, like I said, it's it, if it's not going to be, um, what is it? It's not, if it's not going to be May, like the first few weeks of May, it might be just maybe the last uh, week of May in, into into June. A little bit of a delay, but I am going to get it done slowly but surely, and finally this will be finished and. Uh, I'll be free, but it'll be a wonderful sense of completion, like I like I always say. Um, I'm gonna do it. It's it's gonna get done. Um, slowly but surely, it's gonna get done. It's only a matter of time because it's just basically it's just doing these sound, like some of these sound effects, like, like the sound for the special effects, color correcting, music, final renders, final looks, fi you know, final maybe a little bit of cuts. Um, and like the end credits uh, stuff, I got okay. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Still a lot of stuff. <sighs> Hopefully soon. Anyway, okay. I better shut up. I need to uh, rest. And what I'm going to do is okay. For those of you who are watching this on YouTube, I'm going to end the stream. But if you're watching on Twitch, I'm going to raid uh, the channel of my buddy uh, Jeremy, aka the Elysium Cullet, because he is doing a live stream now on uh, some Final Fantasy. Uh, I think he's playing Final Fantasy and so I'd like to always support him if I can. So I'm going to do that. But I thank all of you for watching, for lurking, for sticking around uh, as much as you can. And see you on Sunday. You have a purpose in your life. Find it. Pursue it. Live it. And we'll see you next time. Bye now. Welcome to TOV Live. How's everybody doing tonight? Here, hold on, give me one moment here. All right. Well, that was thrilling. Yes, I had some internet issues. <laughs> so I'm getting started like about 45 minutes later than I normally do. Hi, I'm Ryan, Tales of Ahala. And tonight is just a lot of editing um, stuff, editing audio stuff. I'm not where I want to be at uh, finishing these last three episodes of season three, but I am. Um, I'm getting there and I'm just working on some movements, uh, movement sounds that I uh, missed uh, in this little scene, but um, I'm just going to work on those for a minute and then going to get into the sounds of uh, of teleportation because we have a certain Mauro teleporter in this series and it needs sounds like the rest of them. So I'm going to add those and then... Um, yeah, let's see how long that takes and might do something else, but we'll see. I'm already a little bit late into this, but we'll see how we're doing. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you all are well. I am going to just start working on this then. And let me see, what do I play? I play season two or season three. Uh, I play, yeah, I'll play season three. I think. And that'll be above my head. If anybody has anything to talk about or uh, questions or anything, go ahead and leave a comment in the chat and then I will talk to you. But until then, I'm going to mute my microphone and get to work.
All right, there, just pausing for a second, just uh, showing you. Okay, so I did those movement sounds. Now I'm going to, let's see, I got two of these up here. I'm gonna save this. And, and I, I do wanna recognize uh, Kaitsuki's comment because commented asking if I um, the stream like dropped or something. Like I said, when I tried starting it like almost an hour ago. And yes, it's the internet. The My internet speeds were just very, very poor. And then it took literally like a half hour on the phone with uh, the internet service to uh, finally get things back in motion. I mean, the internet ended up going out completely and nothing was connected and it took it took a while to get everything sorted out. Just absolutely nuts. Um, but yeah, that was going on. So, so thrilling, how thrilling, huh? Uh, anyway. I'm going to now start working on uh, the sound effects for the teleportation because um, in this um, Tobakra teleports a little bit in this, like, let's see, where is it? Right at the very beginning here, actually, of episode 9, there is some um, teleportation right there. Boom, 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 boom. And so that's where I'll start putting the sound effects in for that. All right, continuing with this. Okay, just pausing it for a second and just explaining that I was in one project file for episode 9. Now I'm in project file for episode 10. Again, putting in the teleport sounds before I have to review more audios. Most of the, like pretty much all the movement sounds are done. Good. And now just putting in the special effects and then most of the sounds should be finished, which hopefully be another week or so of, of work doing this. <sighs> well, however, I have time for it. The, the brain is <laughs> just so blank right now. All right, moving on. Bring this down a little bit. Have it going in the background, I guess. Um, well, you know, it's been a little bit over an hour, and uh, oh, yeah, there's other things I got to do outside of this uh, tonight, and it's uh, well, it's about uh, about 40 minutes away until midnight, so gonna call it a night. And but I thank all of you for sticking around, for viewing, for staying, for lurking. Appreciate all the support as possibly you can get. And I'm going to get this done. I am going to get this done. When? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm starting to lay down these special effects sounds. And it's only going to take a few times of going through these episodes of special effects sounds. Got all the teleportation special effects sounds down tonight so I'm happy to do that happy to get that done and just gotta move on to the next effect sound and the next effect sound until I'm done with that and then the checklist to just uh, things keep on getting checked off and eventually get those episodes um, I will say one thing too before we close the <coughs> well I wasn't coughing the I was gonna say. All oh, right. Um, what we did last last Sunday, which is TV Live, TV podcast, interviewed Ken and and Mike uh, about Scape Con Three, and 
I told everybody there's going to be a little bit of delay before I can get anything else out. Things are getting edited, they are getting rendered, so hopefully in the next day or two I will be releasing those segments of the podcast, so they'll be out there for people to listen to, watch, as well as the audio version of the podcast, which I haven't posted yet either. So yeah, there there is some work to be done. Um, but uh, like I said, I mean, like I said in the last podcast, I mean, me and my wife currently helping. I actually spent all day um, building something uh, for this person in need. And um, yeah, I'm pretty bushed. <laughs> Can't believe I, I did what I was able to do tonight. But um, yeah, I mean, that's how it goes. So hopefully I'll get into more of a swing of things as the weeks keep on going. I hope. I don't know. Just life has just gotten just that much more interesting um so oh wait a second here i can turn that off yeah one second you will rest for the night and make a plan in the morning yes i think i can yeah. oh yeah okay okay 16 more seconds okay here yeah, just let kelda make her comment and we will see if karak will be in a helpful mood okay so that's off and get some background music on And I will call it a night. Um, so the Sunday, um, I know the Sunday is going to be busy, but um, hopefully it'll be regular, regular scheduled stream as long as my internet doesn't give out like it did tonight. And we'll see how far along I am. I probably won't be too much farther along, but you never know um, what type of work I'll be able to put in the next few nights. We'll see. I'll do what I can, and uh, then we'll see what my progress is this coming Sunday. So with that, I bid all of you a good night, good a good Wednesday night, and we'll see you this weekend. You have a purpose in your life. Find it, pursue it, live it, and we'll see all of you next time. Bye now. All right, let's get started. Welcome to T.O.V. Live. I'm trying try to adjust my voice now because <laughs> I like um, <clears throat> sometimes I break I break the audio uh, levels a little bit. So I'm trying to find ways to modulate my voice. Anyway, hi, Ryan. I'm Ryan. Uh, Tales of Valhalla here. Tonight on this, it's, I was about to say Wednesday, it's Sunday night actually. It is Sunday, isn't it? I have a cold, by the way. Um, if you couldn't tell by my voice, yeah, um, last few days, um, I've just developed this sinus, nasally thing that's affecting my throat a little bit too. I had to, I had to practice choir, like it was like a choir practice uh, this, this weekend, and I really tore my vo voice up pretty good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been that type of weekend. How's everybody doing? Um, anyway, this is a live stream, um, which we usually live stream Sunday and Wednesday nights, um, talking about, uh, the favorite, our favorite game of all time, HeroScape. And what I usually do with HeroScape is create a stop motion adventure based off said game. And excuse me, excuse me for the burp. And I burp often too. That, is, that does happen often, often as a burping. Um, and um, so stop motion here, escape adventure, and you can see kind of here on the screen what I'm talking about a little bit here. Um, and we have season one and season two already on YouTube and streaming on YouTube right now as well. And currently working on the end of season three. I mean, a lot of people have been asking about like, oh yeah, I've been watching, you know, this. And yeah, the editing has been going on, what, since... October, November, really, last year. So um, it's been about six months of getting these last three episodes. But all these episodes, these last three episodes combined, is a total of about an hour. Um, so yeah, it's it's nearly like a feature length short film. I mean, some feature like films can could be ninety minutes, sixty minutes. I mean, or more of like a short film format. But um, yeah, it's a lot. It's it's an hour's worth of stuff. It. it it's a lot. <clears throat> um, and like I said, I got the nasal thing happening. I got the throat thing happening. So I don't know. I mean, 
I feel okay talking, but now when I'm talking and the throat thing is like, ugh. I said all that to say, we got some work to do tonight. I did some work um, after uh, this last Wednesday, but not enough to finish what I had in mind to finish. I'm still doing um, the special effect audios of like uh, Raylan's shield, as well as uh, like some of the correct stuff. So well into the special effects. Um, and let's see, we go through the checklist of what I need to get done in order to get done with everything. Let me see here. Um, Sound of or special effects editing, movement, ambient sound, effects sound, end credits, color correction, then the final final edit, and then the music. So right now, I finished the movement and ambient sounds, so that's good. That, that's good news. But now it's moving on to all the sound sounds for the special effects in here. So that's what I'm starting to do, and it's just a long process, especially when you're not feeling all that great. Um, but I'm trying to hack away at it as much as I possibly can, and we're going to do um, some of it tonight in a minute. Um, just a couple of uh, housekeeping things uh, for me to do, um, if I'm not forgetting much anything. Um, the TOV podcast, which we'd usually do every other Sunday, and where it's me and a panel panel of the guys talk about HeroScape and and other things like it or close to it or people who love HeroScape, just everything to do with HeroScape. Um, and so it's every other Sunday. We did have a TV podcast recording last Sunday with a couple of guys talking about SkateCon three, um, which was that was a fun podcast with uh, with Mike and Ken. And then I'm sure you're expecting a TV podcast this coming Sunday. Well. You know, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, no, I was I was talking with uh, some of my usual panel guys, and since next Sunday is Mother's Day, um, and some people might be busy, and it's just it's it might be hard for things to do. I just thought, you know what? Let's just and plus, I mean, there are personal things like I kind of conveyed last Sunday. There there are some personal things happening in my life which is taking up some of my time, which is delaying season getting season three out. So um it might be good for me to have a weekend where I'm not doing the TV podcast so I can release all the TV podcast stuff that I haven't yet because I haven't had time to even edit that stuff and get that out. And then we would um do the next TOV podcast on the 21st. So that would be two Sundays from now. So that would be in between Mother's Day and Memorial Day weekend. So that that, that would help things. That would help things. And so that, that's what I think we're going to go with. That's what we're going to stick with um, and go from there. So next Sunday, I'll still be here. I'll, I'll probably be editing and see where I'm at. And hopefully I'll be done with all the special effects sound and on to other things because um, I really want to get, you know, all these last three episodes done by this month. Um, it's still going to be a push, but we'll see where we're at. Um, so I will be here next Sunday. It just it won't be the TOV podcast uh, that we're doing. Um, and what's next? Oh, um, just the, um, I know earlier today uh, on the Twitch stream we had a Rogue Roguescaper was um, doing his stream, and it was really nice. Uh, he he said he lurks um, these live streams sometimes or watches them, probably watches them in replay or something. And I appreciate you, sir. Um, and I like looking at your stuff too. And I also told him sometimes, some sometime down the road, he's got to come on a TV podcast because it seems like he's got a lot of things to say. In a lot of ways, he's he's like minded like me when it comes to uh, filmmaking and stuff, which which I really appreciate. Um, so I think I think I think I found a kindred kindred spirit there. But we do need to have a actual like. Um, talk to talk conversation and not a text to talk because i was just i was just sending him messages you know uh, via his live stream just asking him about himself and uh, he seems like a very interesting guy uh young guy i believe y young guy but but a dad of three mm -hmm. that takes commitment that takes work to be you know that t that type of man um so yeah, and, and and what he does on his live streams, and just look him up, Roguescaper on Twitch. You should be able to, should be able to um, type him up and look look for him. He does uh, like uh, live painting videos, and it's mostly of HeroScape stuff. And he's happy. He's very friendly to chat with people and ask questions. So um, nice guy, I think. And uh, yeah, definitely 
probably see him on the TOV podcast sometime later this year as a guest to the, to the panel. And this is we have we have lots of you know guests to the panel that come and are reoccurring and and we have um, uh, good ties with so it'd be good to build another one for sure. All right, and then one more thing before I get started here, I just wanted to show something that I got in the mail. Yeah, let me just put it up here. If you can see that, but that is some C3V cards because after season three is done. And after the emergency vehicles go by my house, um, after season three is done, I might do some live. I might do gaming live streams. I might do you know some editing of other uh, Tales of a Hell pro um, projects that I have. But I also probably want to do some live streams to where I, you watch me. Um, you can see me just making some C3V stuff. Like I'm, I'm getting like bugs and stuff together. See, there, there's some um, Zul Zul. Zultika fire ants, and then we have a Quahan here. I see that. I know it's hard to see on that small screen. Obviously, I'll blow up this screen right here of mine, looking at me uh, in the future. Uh, let's see what else do I got? Um, oh yeah, yeah, we got the amber hive protectors there. So that's kind of cool. Um. So yeah, I'm just starting to cut these cards. I got a, uh, yeah, I got, I got things I gotta do uh, with that, um, and just be making armies, possibly selling them out, maybe giving them away, maybe possibly in the future. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but I just want to give a quick thanks uh, for the person who printed these cards, and I ordered from him, uh, Nicholas uh, Thor Thor Stenson. I hope I'm saying that right. If you ever watch this, Nicholas, um, you can you can find him on like the uh, Hero Scapers uh, Facebook page, and, uh, and mess and send try and find a way to send a message and ask for some cards because he doesn't do like normal your class escape. He usually does a C3V uh, cards, um, and he and he was able to print out. I probably I'll probably get more from him in the future as well. But anyway, that is what I wanted to talk about for tonight a lot of, some things to go through and now i'm going to shut up and, and get to work i'll start playing i'm just going to play season one i'll get the classic going i'll start season one and and work on this for as long until my head drops and then um and as long as this stream doesn't cut out i know we have like a bunch of thunderstorms coming through the area so if this if this live stream cuts it probably means a thunderstorm knocked the power out just so just to warn you it might happen um but yeah gonna continue with this um, play season one if, again if anybody has any questions or comments or hi hello how you doing uh, feel free to uh, send me a message i'll i'll see it and but until that time i'm gonna mute my microphone and get to work <laughs> Uh, hello, hello, uh, Rogue Idealist. Actually, I, I think I, I was just talking about you um, at the beginning of the stream here because uh, I was commenting on how, well, it, it was it was your stream earlier today that I was commenting on. Um, now you're commenting on my stream. Ah, how that goes. Um, yeah, no, and how it's just, uh, it seems like you have a nice thing going there, painting the, the miniatures there. The hero escape miniatures and i was actually at the beginning of the live stream showing um like some of the um i have like these uh, cards that i just got in the mail there are a lot of c3v uh, uh cards and that i plan to um do something of a variation of kind of what you're doing only not painting um i have a lot of c3v miniatures that need to be based um some painted but mostly just based i got a lot of bugs insects i'm kind of going for those types of armies and so uh might um when i have time to to make those because it's going to take a little bit of work 
I will live stream. I'll, I'll point like this camera here down to the side here, and that'll be my camera because I only have that camera. I mean, I, I, I could make other multi camera, but I'm and I might be able to set something up for that, but um, primarily, primarily right now I'm just thinking doing that and then just, you know, gluing stuff to bases sometime in the future when, when season three is done. Hopefully in the next month or so. And, uh, and do that but yeah um and you can tell by my throat i, I don't know but um i've had a i've had a cold um like in the past like four or five days or it's more like a sinus thing uh happening yeah and i sniff right <laughs> in the microphone too yeah this, this is this is going off really well anyway editing is going good well editing is going fair <clears throat> i'm now just working on the um the sound effects for uh, the sound effects for the special effects now and that that's what I need to do for these last three episodes which if you add them all together the last three episodes um, equate to about an hour runtime so it's a lot and no, no, there's a reason why this has taken like over six months to edit um, and get done and so yeah here's the uh, this is the timeline for episode 10 here i know that i know this is, this is this is me talking a lot from just someone saying hope the editing is going well <laughs> uh do i sound needy i probably sound needy anyway uh but yeah this is this is the timeline for uh these are just these are just sound effects these are just all a little bit of sounds here bunches a bunch of sounds yes all of these are sounds too different sounds voiceovers Movement sounds, other movement sounds probably. Or actually, these are other voiceovers, and then movement sounds and voiceovers. And now the, the special effect uh, sounds, or some of these are movement sounds as well. Um, yeah, still still a ton of work to do. Um, but yes, anyway, Rogue Idealist. Uh, yes, thank you for commenting on the chat for a minute or two. And uh, anything else you want to talk about? I mean, I know it's kind of like a half-sided conversation because you talked earlier today now I'm talking tonight but anything you want to know ask a question and I will unmute my microphone again and talk <laughs> all right let me hop back on here okay so here get the I don't, know, I don't worry about the background music. All right, uh, so let's see. Rogue Idealist asks, asks, do I make my own Foley sounds or are they from a pre-recorded source? Uh, mostly from a pre-recorded source. Um, some of the some of the sound effects, like like the movement effect, uh, the, 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 the movement effects, um, or even when it comes to well, here. Let me just let me just scroll back here a second. It's much easier easier to show. So the majority of these sound effects come from um, a company called Triune Films, where they give a uh, with with one one time purchase you can you can purchase downloads of like music tracks, uh, certain sound effects, gunfire effects, and stuff. And all the wonderful thing is all of them are royalty free. You can use them for a project that you're getting paid for or not paid for, and release it online and there's no copyright strike against you they're not going to go after you and most of their stuff is pretty good and triune films are the guys from film riot i don't know if you know them on youtube i used to watch them quite often um but yeah it's it's from that group and they they, they give they give some really great um audio uh sound effects and stuff but when it comes to like say the movement effects and here i'm gonna do something even here more so I'm going to turn my desktop audio on so you can actually hear what this timeline's doing. I'm going to go, let me see, bring this more in depth here. Um, I think these are, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. That is just voiceovers. And voice, majority of voiceovers were from about 30 plus people who have helped me in the past several years most of them actually all of them volunteers either friends family uh, friends i went to school with um or uh friends that i knew from church basically and 
Uh, let me see, let me get... Okay, so there it is. Okay, did you hear that sound? Like the little whip whip? Here, let me just let me pull one up just to make it a little bit louder. Okay, now that is to indicate um, some type of movement sound um, from these, but they're very, very subtle. Of course, I lower I lower the, the, the volume down on them because you just want it to be kind of like not barely noticeable, but it just registers in the audience brain that, you know, that gives more life to, to these miniatures, even though, you know, your, your brain doesn't know what your ears are thinking, but it's just taking it in, uh, that type of thing. Uh, but the movement effects comes, like I said, comes from um, trying films, and it's really, the sound of it is is just a belt um, whoosh. Um, that's it. And I just I just lower the volume on it, and it just sounds, because I, I, this is one thing that um, I really had to give some thought into when I was... Um, starting to make season one is like okay when i do movement sounds for these um inanimate miniatures and they're moving about the board um do i do like like the sound of footsteps you know going across the way because some people do that with things um or should or then does it have to be often or should it be something different and so i i gave a i gave a lot of thought and and tested you know what sounded better um and and for me um what sounded better was that when they moved they technically didn't you didn't hear movement sounds every time their uh the miniature base scraped across the terrain now for me it was, it was more just like um when they would make sudden movements or just every once in a while um just just that little belt whoosh sound um uh, j just to indicate that there is sound coming from the fact that they are moving, but not so often that it becomes so repetitive or something like that. Um, and especially for like, I mean, there's a lot of movement sounds. See, look, look, see, all this, all these are movement sounds. There's a ton of movement sounds from these, is because um, there's just a lot of action, action scenes happening, a lot of fight scenes happening. So with with when it comes to more action more sudden movement then more movement sounds come in so I, I hope that answers your question probably more than you wanted <laughs> uh, but uh, that that is what I want to what I want to do now as far as Foley sounds go I did make a Foley sound um, that I used a little bit and that was um, the uh, uh, I'm sorry uh, forgive my nose uh, Dragonfly. What's what's the dragonfly's name? Um, Sujoa. Sujoa. Um, in like the end of season two and the beginning of season three, um, there's like the sound of Sujoa's wing beats um, or wings flapping. I I did get a Foley sound from that. What I did was I took my vehicle with um, my friend Jason and another friend of mine, Adam, um, and we had audio equipment. And along with computer to record the audio and basically what I recorded was um, if my windows were rolled down a certain way at a certain speed in my car on the highway there was kind of like a <laughs> wind sound that I wanted to try and pull and we spent an afternoon just getting that little bit of sound um, driving this vehicle and and just and actually you I use that sound and I mix in something else uh, for that so I did fully once um, but more than often it's it's stuff that's already been foleyed um, and pre-recorded and I just I just use it and bend it to my will as as much as I uh, as I can so yeah I I hope that uh, satisfies uh, your inquiring mind sir <laughs> Uh, thank you, Rogue Ideal, sir. Yeah, you know, probably busy guy. Um, but thank you for stopping in for a few minutes, and you take care of yourself, and we'll be in touch, sir. Talk to you later.
Okay, real quick. I'm on just a small break and because I just finished the audio. But the, yeah, the, the special effects audio um, for the physical audio effects. <laughs> Layering them down and I'm just going to take a quick break. And I'll be back before this season one is done, and then we will do, we'll add in another sound effect in a little bit. Be right back. Okay, hold on one moment. Gotta get background music going. Okay, <laughs> gonna be turning off the live stream soon. Um, I'm gonna get some rest. And good news is, I did everything I wanted to do tonight, and then and then a little bit extra. So that's always good. I still have a lot of work to do, but what I need to do is for all of these uh, sound effects here in nine as well as ten. Since it kind of looks like I've used up pretty much all the all the timeline space on on each row here, um, I'm going to render these chopped up audio files, put them together in like a track like this, and then copy and paste and move further down, and then start working on the special special effect sounds. <laughs> And yeah, hopefully, hopefully by the end of this week, all those will be done. We'll see. It's weeks are still busy, but um, that is my path. I'm not sticking to it. So with that, I will come to a close of this live stream again. Thank you, Rogue Idealist, for commenting. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Support. Likes, shares, subscriptions, I appreciate it always. I hope to get out the rest of Season 3 very, very soon. Just keep patience with me, please. And it's going to be great once it comes out. It's going to be a lot of fun. So with that, we'll see you all this coming Wednesday when we do more editing of this. You have a purpose in your life. Find it, pursue it, live it. We'll see you next time. Bye now. Welcome to TOV Live. It is Valhalla time. And let me get this up here. And it also is, uh, let me put it this way here. Let me adjust this thing. Let me adjust it a little bit. Everything, everything's kind of thrown together a little bit tonight because, uh, well, it's just been, it's been that crazy of a day. Oh, excuse me, and I burped. Hey. I am just here to say that I can finally see, after years and years and years of making this stop-motion animated series, trying to attempt to do three seasons, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Now it's, when I say light, I mean it's just, it's just like a little, you know, pinpoint of a light, but there's no darkness anymore. There's that little point of light, and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until I step out into the sunshine. I can just see it, even though I still have lots to do. I still have lots to do to the stop motion series. And by the way, hey, I'm Ryan, Tales of Valhalla. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am the guy who is uh, creating this stop motion series called Tales of Valhalla, The Aftermath Chronicles, which is a stop motion adventure based off the board game HeroScape and I've been doing this for about 10 years, well, actually over 10 years practically <laughs> um, through uh, illness, pain, um, all kinds of things throughout the past 10 years. Um, I've had a dream and this is, I mean, it's a crazy dream and it's like some people are like, why are you doing this? <clears throat> It's a dream, and it's my own personal dream, and I think within a month, month and a half, it's finally going to be done, and uh, I'm happy about that, uh, but I still got work to do. I still have a lot of sleepless nights, and this is one of them, so let's get to work, shall we? Okay, let me catch you up all on where 
we are at tonight. I'm still kind of sick. I don't know. This this sickness thing is running almost a week now. Um, but uh, I think I think my mind is better. I think my spirit's better. Um, and uh, oh yeah, housekeeping. There of course is going to be no TOV podcast. I, I also do like a little by a little podcast, a, a podcast called the TOV podcast, which talks about um, our favorite game of all time, which is HeroScape. All the ins and outs of HeroScape, the gameplay, the lore. Um, we cover everything, and we also um, sometimes talk to people who have created HeroScape-like games or stories or you know things like that. So it's a uh, it's a wonderful podcast, but we're not doing it this weekend because this weekend is Mother's Day, and in, co in collaboration with uh, my panel, who, who joins me usually, um, we decided that you know what, we're just gonna we're just gonna skip a Sunday, and that's fine. That gives me time to more time to work on this. Anyway, so um, I'm just gonna be working on actual special effect sound effects tonight that's that's what I'm currently working on that's that's really the last bit of sound effects that I need to do before I move on to like the color correction getting the end credits uh, ready and um, then the music and then when, when the music's done then it's all done but it's a huge chunk like I'm working on episode 9 and episode 10 simultaneously I'm getting as much uh, special effect audios in as possible because it's just stuff from everywhere. I mean, you got lightning effects, you got um, like arrows whizzing by, you got gun, certain different types of gunfire effects. It, there's just all kinds of sound effects for all kinds of stuff throughout these episodes. So, I mean, I, I'm laying them down fast, but there's just there's a ton to do. So we're gonna get to that, and I'm not exactly sure. I was doing a lot of this stuff this morning. And I'm not exactly sure where I left off, but I'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, hello to everybody in the chat. Again, do what we always do. Um, if anyone wants to say hi or ask a question, comment, um, I will unmute my microphone. But in the meantime, I'll mute my microphone, start playing. Uh, I'll play season three, or, or what we have of season three, <laughs> uh, above my head and I'll get to work. All right, let's get started. Okay, um, for all one or three of you watching, you want a sneak preview of something? Mm -hmm. Let me give you uh, the sound of this uh, kind of destructo beam um, that a particular creature is emitting from itself. Now, of course, this is all like a custom type of uh, a power um, because normally this miniature, which I'm not going to name because it's still kind of a surprise, um, does not have this type of attack in the HeroScape game. But, you know, sometimes you got to take creative liberties and it looks and sounds cool. So here, let me... Now this will be probably loud, so just brace yourself, but uh, this is what this uh, type of power sounds like, or what, what I've developed it to sound like. Here we go. Again. Yeah, a little bit like that. All right, moving on. Here, hold on a second. Okay, a few people I think jumped in to Twitch. Hello, anybody who's viewing, lurking around. Uh, let me give you a little idea of what's going on here in the editing process currently laying down the <clears throat> special effects audio for these episodes and here's a sound that you have not heard yet before from this series. <clears throat> Let me give you a sneak preview, okay? Here it is. There you go, that's it. <laughs> 
I know, like, I'm not going to talk about the minute with that miniature is because it's a surprise and a lot of it is spoiler heavy. Um, but I know, I know that particular miniature in the HeroScape game does not have that ability and anyway near that ability. But this is just creative liberties on the filmmaker's part. It looks cool. It sounds cool. So going with it. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome tonight and thank you all for uh, joining the live stream tonight. All right, back to the work. Okay, so that is all of we can, what we can show of season three and the last three episodes of that conflict. I'm editing right now. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, um, let's see here, what can I play? I'm going to play, I'm going to start season two. I'm going to roll season two for a little bit. Thank you, for, thank you for people who come in, lurk, disappear, and then later. But whatever time you can spend, appreciate it. Um, my buddy Jeremy, the Alessium Cullet, he was live streaming a second ago. But I think he had some internet connection issues. And he dropped the stream. Um... I'm thinking, well, I'm going to first see here. Hold on a second. Let me see if he's coming back on or not. Yeah, okay. I think he's on again. Hold on, hold on. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, okay, there he is. There he is. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think I think he's back on. So... So as long as he's on, I'm going to raid his channel sometime probably in the next hour or so. I don't see myself going past midnight, even though I'm on a roll here. I am dumping down a lot of a lot of the um, audio effect, audio sound for the all these special effects. Still, just a lot more to go. No, I'm not going to finish them tonight. I'm not even going to take a guess when I'm going to finish them. Hopefully soon. Um, but how about I just get at it again a little bit longer. Start season two, see how long I can go for, and um, then we'll close the night. And I need rest <laughs> too. So I might be uh, like I might sleep in tomorrow morning and then just do this again tomorrow night. I'll have to see. Anyway, let us continue. All right, I think I'm going to call it a night. Hour 36 minutes or hour 30 minutes into the stream. It's not bad for, you know, my usual, like, I mean, I'm running on empty when it comes to sleep. I do need to get some rest tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll see how I am on Sunday. When, I, when we return on Sunday, hopefully I'll have most, if not, both both uh, these done very very close I and mean, the thing is going to be very very close to, to be done um, there's still um, I, I probably would continue going further but I know there's like computer files that I gotta get into audio files that I gotta get into to find old uh, sound effects because you got the uh, stingers you got uh, Kelda's uh, staff you have um, you have Moore's Bane's uh, staff, and each of those have unique their own unique sound effects already created. But I gotta find them, and I don't want to do that on the stream and just be popping up, you know, Windows files and stuff. I, I can I can do that later. And plus, I just need to rest. So I think I'm going to call it a night. Um, for those of you on YouTube, the stream will shut down. For those of you who are on Twitch. Uh, one of you, uh, gonna go raid um, Jeremy's the Elysium Collates uh, stream because he he's still he's still going he's still going so I'm gonna raid his stream bid him a good night but I do thank everybody for watching 
um, everybody for lurking, everybody um, giving whatever support you can give. Always appreciate it so much. We'll see you this coming Sunday. We'll see where we're at uh, for these episodes in Season 3. Like I said at the beginning, I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. It might be just the tiniest dot, but it's a light, and it's going to get bigger and soon going to be in daylight. All right, with that... I hope all of you have a good rest of the week. See you Sunday. You have a purpose in your life. Find it, pursue it, live it. And we'll see you all next time. Bye now. Welcome to TOV Live. Yeah. It is Valhalla time. Good Sunday night to everybody on the stream tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Starting a little bit early tonight because, well, I want to go to bed early. <laughs> so, uh, how's everybody doing tonight? Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Yes, you're probably asking, why is he streaming on Mother's Day? Well, technically, the day is done. And now, <clears throat> I gotta get this thing done. Um, welcome to the stream, all of you. I'm Ryan, Tales of Valhalla. Continuing on editing the little bit that I still need to finish of the last three episodes of Season 3 of Tales of Ahal, The Aftermath Chronicles, which is a stop-motion adventure based off the board game HeroScape. And normally, this would be a night where, actually, this would be one of the nights that we do the TOV podcast, which is me and a panel talking about uh, the greatest game of all time, HeroScape. But we just decided to skip a Sunday because it is Mother's Day and uh, some of the guys had things to do. Um, so we just thought it good. Just said, you know what? We're going to take a Sunday off and then just uh, do it, do a podcast the following Sunday. So that's what we're going to do. But that doesn't stop me from holding myself accountable and doing some work tonight. So that's what I'm going to be doing with um, well, the audio editing of these last three episodes and we'll get started in a second hope everybody is doing well um, I just I have I have one thing I want to talk about before I get started um, I was talking to uh, one of my buddies Sean uh, on his live stream a little bit earlier and was talking about um, there, there's a video editing software that I usually use for my videos and special effects and such the audio software I use Sony Vegas but I use a uh, hit film as like a video editing special effects software. And I didn't realize this, um, but it kind of makes sense. Um, HitFilm has been going through some changes in the past five minutes, ever since the turn of the new year. And it's it's to a point to where I can't recommend HitFilm really as a video editing software anymore. I mean, if you want to try it, go ahead. I mean, it is it's still, free, um, it's still have a free option. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping it's still okay. I mean, I have an older, I have an older version. Excuse me a second for the burping. But um, apparently, uh, the original owners got bought out by a company, uh, Artlist, and I think changes are being made. Like the, HitFilm has not done any YouTube, and they, and they do right. They've done regular YouTube videos for years, and the past five months they have not released a video ever since like I think early January I think the last video was January and nothing no no nothing has been going on um, and the interest so it's like either nobody's there to do videos anymore I don't know but there's been radio silence on that side as well as the fact that um, I tried to go on their webpage and I can I still have an account there but there used to be a community forum where, where people who bought the software could talk amongst each other's in their forum. That is completely down. The link, it, like the the option, the click option, is still there, but it's gone. It, it's it's all, all those records, um, you know, of conversations on how to, um, uh, you know, edit through your hit film account. Now I don't know what their customer service is anymore, but everything's just in doubt now. Now. The only, I mean, I guess the big biggest problem with this, I mean, I, I'm still going to use my HitFilm Pro. <laughs> I mean, it is older software. I haven't updated it in a long time, but it's still good. I still use it. But I won't be able to update it anymore, I don't think. Um, 
it's it's a different different plan altogether there and um that which gets me thinking that in the future when i make uh, future videos when it comes to like stop motion and stuff i might have to find another another software um i mean i'll still use my hitfilm pro as long as i can but eventually it's it's gonna it's it's not gonna be as good as um something new so yeah, that's just, that's just something that I wanted to talk about for a second, just because I mean, for me, I've always I've always recommended HitFilm. I've loved HitFilm, HitFilm Express. I love the options they have, but if if the original uh, creators have been like ousted by a corporation that's now in control of the of the of the IP of of the system, um, then I can't really recommend it anymore. I, I mean, and all I know is from rumors. So if any of you out there who know anything more, I, I might ask Jason about it next week. Um, he might know more about it, because um, I, I know he, he's kind of a fan of hit film as well. But I'm just like, th this was, and this was news to me. I mean, I've just been busy focused on other things, but yeah, just, it's really, really weird. Anyway, okay, we're going to get to uh, the editing, and I I'm still feel sick. I'm still, I still got the throat thing. It's just crazy. I don't know what's going on with me. But we still have a lot of special special effects sounds to edit with. I have I have done a lot of work, but there's still a lot left to do. Let's see here. This is episode nine, so I've made different selections um, for like there's there's sound effects for different characters that I've um, that I've selected, separated out that need to be put down. I might work on this one. This is Evar's sound effects, and so yeah, we we'll get to work with that tonight. Anyway. As usual, any questions you want to ask? Of course, I'm going to be playing um, a selection of uh, the TOV season stuff above my head. Um, I'm going to mute my microphone so you all can enjoy. And if anybody has a question or has a shout out, hello or anything, wants me to respond, I will unmute my microphone and then have a conversation. But until that time, I'm going to get to work and we'll see how long we can go. All right. Good evening, Rogue Idealist. How are you tonight? Okay, well, uh, you've got a comment here saying uh, from Rogue Idealist, we got bugs. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's actually one of my my uh, four-year-old, soon to be five-year-old son's favorite episode, which is I think it's just um, I think that episode is just pronounced spider. It's just spiders, I think. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, that um, that was some fun uh, techniques use doing that anime in that episode because I basically have I think like six spiders or at that time I had like only six spiders to use and I made six spiders look like sixty so yeah that was uh, that was a lot of fun to animate and the uh, one interesting thing too. I don't know if you know this rogue idealist. Sujua at the very end there, crying out. That is actually a, a reshaping of my son's voice when he was less than six months old. Kiddo uh, found his voice around that time and he started whining and he hasn't stopped whining since. <laughs> but but no, he, 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 he started whining and i'm just like i got so frustrated with them i'm just like okay here we go and i put him in front of a mic my microphone and recorded his whine and so yeah the sound of sujoa and the sound of zetacron actually um zetacron in there both those sounds come from my i think four to six month old son at the time recording his his whining little voice <laughs> so I made I made use of it. Uh, anyway, here let me, let me just pop this, uh, turn this on, back on for a second, so I can get to an image here. 
Yeah, yeah, well, you know, uh, and Rogadiel says how I love that. Yeah, I just found that. Um, here, hold on a second. Look at that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, not that. Okay, background music on uh, TOV Season 2. Oh, there, 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 there. All right, so yeah, okay, I'll just I'll just leave it there, right there, because because coming up next is a fun episode too. But no, my son Jose, he he likes, he really likes the uh, that that spider episode. He's just got a thing for spiders, and of course, those spiders in HeroScape, they're pretty valuable pieces. Um, they're really hard to come by and pretty expensive. So what do you think my son likes to play with the most <laughs> out of all my HeroScape stuff? It's those spiders, which I hardly ever let him touch. Even though, I mean, they're kind of indestructible, but I'm sure he would put that to the test. I'm just looking forward to a time when um, he's uh, he's a little bit older and then we can have some some more fun with that. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I really like the episode. I, I, if a person asked me, what's your favorite episode? that would be one of my top ones it was it was uh fun to animate um uh pretty pretty good pretty good editing if i do say so myself i love i love the camera positions everywhere and that f one of the final shots at the end where the camera pans with henderson following Hen uh, henderson um protecting uh mariko and toothpick you know them running out of the scene and then coming back I mean that's all one shot and I do a few of those type of sh I've done a few types of those shots through the, throughout the series um, even in uh, season three I did it when Henderson runs through a, a, a battle um, I don't do it often because it takes a long time uh, to to animate but I like to do it every once in a while just to you know give that type of feel that you know you're 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 really in that environment uh, sometimes but yeah yeah really love the episode anyway uh well, it's lovely to uh, have you on for a little bit uh rogue idealist uh happy mother's day to uh the mother of your children i assume your wife um i know it's uh it's been that type of weekend but i still i still gotta work to get this stuff done uh, but yeah lovely having you on all right um, I'm going to continue with my editing, and I will just play more of Season 2. Alright, I think... I'm gonna call it a night. Unless there's anything, Virgo Ideal is just out there. Any other questions or anything else you want to talk about? But almost two hours um, with a live stream. I think I put in good time. I did pretty much what I wanted to get done tonight. I wanted to get um, Ever Scar Carver sound effects in. I did that. Starting to get uh, the Maro Stingers uh, gunfire effects in. We're coming along. I mean, I, I personally, I wanted to be done with all these uh, sound effects. How how long ago? Like, like a few weeks ago, all of it done. But you know what? You gotta you gotta do what you you can do with it all. Um, here, hold on a second. Bring in all those credits of all those wonderful people that have helped me out over the years with mostly voice acting. Thank you again to everybody who who has helped out. Even though they're probably never gonna hear this, but I still thank them. Um, a group of 30 plus people that have helped in one way or another with with the voice acting and I always appreciate them yeah I'm gonna turn this oh, actually I'll just pause it I'll just pause it uh, yeah right there that's fine <laughs> I'll just do that all right uh, just turn back our music on all right anyway um so yeah this one's this coming wednesday we'll be doing more of this and hopefully by this wednesday um i'll be pretty much wrapped with the sound effects i'll see where i'm at i might i might just be putting on the finishing touches still with sound effects we'll see but i'm hoping to get um most of most of everything else done by wednesday unless there's something that you know just is overwhelming i'm just like trying to 
but a little bit at a time. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm hoping by Wednesday that all this will be done. I can start moving on to the final things. Of course, the music being the important thing, and the music is the last thing. The music will, I predict, take at least two weeks to put down for all three episodes. Um, that's that's minimum. It's probably going to take longer, but I'm going to shoot for two weeks so that way we can get these episodes out and ready to be viewed. Um, but with that, I'm going to bid all of you a good night. Thank you, Real Ideals, for stopping anybody who was stopping in for a second just to lurk around. Thank you. And I'll see you guys this coming Wednesday, most likely, when we continue more of this editing. Rugged Deals, you good night. Good night to you, sir. Good luck on all your live streams and stuff. And we'll we'll, we'll, tr we'll try to get together in the future. I know it's just I am so much overwhelmed, and it's not just like like TOV or any, any TOV stuff I have to do. There's like other, and I've mentioned this a little bit in like uh, the very end of the TOV podcast, but there are some personal things in my life going on. I mean, it's not like it's bad. I mean, it is, but it's good that I'm doing. It's like doing the right thing, but it takes a lot of my time, a lot of my energy away from this. So, you know, but I mean, hopefully that stuff will be more or less resolved soon. And I can get back to this. And plus, I got to get over the, whatever I have going on with my throat and sinuses. I've been going on for a week and a half, or more than a week and a half now. Stretching on two weeks. It just, it's just staying, and my throat is not the same. <clears throat> so I'm hoping this week I can get, I can get that healed too. We'll see. But you just got to keep on in the fight. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. You have a purpose in your life. Find it pursue it, live it, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Welcome to TOV Live. It is Valhalla time. Good evening, all of you. And uh, for those of you who might hear noise, don't mind the noise. It is work in progress uh, happening right now. And as you can see from my background, um, yeah, it's been a week. Um, Make, made some changes to things, moved uh, this uh, studio desk thing about, uh, I'd say about five, six feet to the left of, of, the, of, the, of the room area that uh, it was occupying. And so now I'm basically almost in the center of the living room, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give a quick show of this real quick, because it's like the the camera showing just a really tiny screen right there, but let me just uh, expand it out a second and I'll show you all what I have because I'm changing the background a little bit because usually background I know is the, the background I would always have is not ideal. It's just Tales of a Hell stuff just blasted everywhere. Um, what, uh, what I'm changing here, where is it? Let me find, okay, there it is. All right. Yeah, let me just zoom this out. A second, okay. Whee. Now this is going to be a work in progress. Um, there's a lot of things I still need to fix, and this is way, way, way down. Here, I'll bring this back up. Bring this up. All right. There, I think that's a little bit better. So, of course, we got the microphone here, and behind me is a guitar. Like a little halo type thing. Got a picture right there. Along with, if you can see, I don't know if you can see it. It's really tiny, but a, a, ko a, ko a koan, a koan. I'm probably butchering that name, but it's a, it's a it's a HeroScape C3V miniature that I based uh, the other day. So glued it to a base from High Ground Tiles. So that guy is ready for action. Um, then I have also back here. A well, you can't see it because uh, you can't see my cursor, but how many point? Okay, all right. Here is a 3D printer. It's a PLA 3D printer that I've printed a lot of the high ground terrain off of, and then then other things as well, photos and stuff like that. So 
just make the background a little bit more interesting. Like I said, it is a work, it is a work in progress, so things might change. You know, I, I, I'm still, I still have boxes everywhere, and I'm still trying to get everything worked out. But uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what, what everything's like this coming Sunday when I do the TOV podcast. But I'm trying to make things a little bit more visually, you know, ideal, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, welcome to all of you. In, this Wednesday night, it is um, well. It we got, we got some good things. We got some good things happening. I'm feeling a lot better. My throat is a lot better, thank goodness. And uh, what was I going to say? Um, we are getting really close to finishing the uh, sound effects for for the special effects. Thank goodness. It's just going to take probably just tonight, and then I'm going to be all set there's just a few spots i missed all of um all the sound effects for episode 9 are done so that's good news now it's just episode 10 and it's a half hour block of of a lot of things and but i i, I put in quite a bit of work um this past this past week or these past several days since the last live stream so i was able to uh, get stuff done so this coming sunday either a going to be working on maybe um the credits uh, for the end of season three, because um, that that's its own segment on itself, and, or um, at at the very least, uh, maybe by the Sunday we'll start working on the music. But I'm almost guarantee you it's going to be next Wednesday. Actually, the Sunday I won't be working on anything. It's a TV podcast. Ah, so no, um, next Wednesday most likely we'll be starting the music, and that means once I start the music, it's only about. My estimate is two weeks worth of working on the music, and then it's all done. And then we can release this. Yes! I I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be it's gonna be a blast. I, I'm just like viewing and reviewing um, all of these. Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, um, I'm Ryan, Tales of Valhalla, and I mainly do a podcast, or I, I do a podcast... Um, on the board game HeroScape with a panel of people, um, all, all things HeroScape, and as well as I do a stop motion HeroScape adventure based off the board game HeroScape, and that's what I'm wrapping up. I'm wrapping up season three, and we have those all those episodes on YouTube on the Tales of Valhalla YouTube page, and just getting the last three episodes of season three done and so i'm gonna start working lickety split here and what i'm gonna do is let's see here i played all of season two last or this past sunday so i'm gonna start with season three playing above my head and you all should know how this works you know um, playing up play a uh, season above my head Mute my microphone. If anybody has any comment or any questions, I will um, bring my microphone back on and uh, have a chat because I don't mind having conversations. Um, but until that time, enjoy, and I'm going to get to work. Okay, yeah, interrupted. <laughs> Hello, Rogue Idealist. How are you, sir? <clears throat> How are you doing tonight? I am um, I'm feeling a lot better as opposed to last Sunday. I mean, I'm still, uh, but I, I'm, I'm, I, I feel like the worst of whatever sickness I was having the past two weeks is, um, is, is starting to... Uh, well, it's, it's it's getting better. It's getting better. So, um, I'm I'm doing good in health wise, and I am. I mean, as far as the editing goes, I am just about wrapped with with, with the um, all the, all the audio sound effects for the episodes. I finished I finished all the audio sound effects for episode nine. And um, tonight I'm doing the final bit of um, audio sound effects for episode 10. There's still a ton that I've missed on episode 10. And there might be one or two that I've missed on 9. I'll have to review the episodes um, a bit later. But just, just trying to wrap that up as much as possible. So that means that 
probably next Wednesday, I'll get started on getting the music done for I'm ho I'm hoping get start starting to get the music done for the last three episodes of season three here and my estimate is it'll take two weeks to get all the music for the for these episodes done and once that's done everything's done it's set to release so getting close getting getting very very close but as you can see here rogue idealist i don't know if you um you probably went out here earlier but so here's i'm going to do something here uh, things are kind of changed around. There's, there's, a, there's a different background because I moved um, my desk, um, which was in kind of like on the side part of our living room. I moved it into the center of the living room. There are reasons behind that. Um, we're actually switching our living room to another part of the house, um, so that way it's it's um, it'll uh, that part of the house will become a kitchen, dining room slash living room. So if kids are there then they're just there and they're not coming through the house anywhere else. And so this just turns into my studio slash cat bathroom. Um, so the cat bathroom is where the desk used to be. And now I'm here and I'm able to show off a little bit more of a background here. Hold on, let me just, I expanded it earlier, but I'll expand it again. Let me find the right one on OBS here. There it is. All right, so I'm just going to pull this out. And I know um, season three is kind of in the way, but you can see um, there is, there's a photo of my son. There's a Koa, Koahan, Koahan, I think I'm saying that right. Um, dragon back there. Um, I've been making some C3V stuff and that is one of them there on my shoulder. I also have a guitar practically behind my head. I might switch that around, and this is all a work in progress because I still have boxes surrounding me. I'm still trying to get stuff um, figured out on on this new location. And I also have like a little um, artist sketch of the Tales of Hell logo back back here, right right there, and it is on my uh, PLA 3D printer and Ender 3. That that's that's the 3D printer that I've used. To print most of the high ground tiles uh, terrain uh, that I've used for uh, Tales of Valhalla, that machine. Although it does, I, I do have to take it apart and put it back together again because um, I did basically use it up to where like most of the prints that I was doing with it were just failing or very weak. So I just thought, okay, this thing probably needs a cleaning. Probably needs to re everything needs to be reset. I just haven't had time to do it in like a year. <laughs> so. Um, but it is back there and pretty soon enough I will I will get it um, reset up and it'll start printing again things um, maybe when I'm streaming who knows I mean I know it makes a little bit of a sound so we'll see but um, definitely it's gonna be part of the background now um, as well as like I see photos of um, like, like this is a photo of my son right there and on, on the other wall there's some photos of uh, me and my my son as well um, so yeah, oh, and there's like, here, I got also, if I put this up, there's like a little painting that um, a friend of my wife's painted to kind of represent uh, me and my son as well as a little child hand holding like a big adult's hand and there's like a butterfly um, on top there. So you know, got a little artwork stuff happening as well a bit so but it's, it's still it's, it's all a work in progress. I might have to bring this camera in closer because you can still see boxes like down here and stuff so I, I'm, I'm still working on it. It, it it's a work in progress for sure but um yeah anyway let me scrunch this back down here there anyway how are you yourself um i know the other day you were or was it yesterday you were talking about i know pokemon I think uh, was that was that with your sister? Oh, at first I thought at first I thought that it was your wife, but I'm like, no, you said your wife was redheaded. Um, so I'm I'm guessing I'm guessing it was your sister or a friend. Um, yeah, he says, yeah, Radius says, like new setup, you can only be as good as your background. Yes, and 
I, I'll be really, really honest with myself because my wife is honest with me all the time. The background that I've always had with just the, <laughs> the Tales of Hellas shirts, um, logo stuff, it, that wasn't the best. It, 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 it really wasn't. It just, I know it was awful, but it was the best I had at that time because I was like really constricted and so um, I just made do with what I had. Um, but yeah, I, I want to. I mean, I might have to bring, I still might have to bring this desk in a little bit closer, but I want some space because um, there's not just uh, animate I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing gaming in the future after season three is done. Um, there's going to be custom miniatures that I'm going to be I'm making or C3V customs um, and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, there's a, there's a things a happening, um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, um, there's a few of you on here. Welcome to the stream. Um, currently, well, I have season three above my head is uh, not playing, but um, we're we're showing off uh, stop HeroScape stop motion as well as I'm editing episodes of HeroScape stop motion as well. I'm just having a conversation with Rogue Idealist here on Twitch, and see Rogue Idealist says, "Yeah, my sister." Okay, that's what I thought. She's a she's a big Pokemon fan and an artist. Oh, okay. I'm hoping to have her draw some skate art for my birthday. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, hey, um, if 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 she does do any type of skate art, because I know we showcased um someone else's uh here escape art um a few podcasts back and uh it was it was of Raylan it was really really nice um so yeah if she does anything like that like post it on Facebook or something and I'll probably talk about it or show it off um because yeah we, we need more of those things definitely all right let me I, I'm just going to continue working um but I will, again, bring my microphone back on if there's anything else that needs to be talked about. Okay, what I'm going to do is wrap up for the night tonight. I hope that was enjoyable uh, watching. That, that's all season three we have. Currently editing the conclusion of what you just saw there. And <clears throat> I'm pretty much right. I mean, there's still a couple adjustments and extra things I need to put in. But as you can tell, I'm yawning, and what's interesting is I'm actually, I have an ear on um, my friend Jeremy, the Elysium Cullet. Uh, his, he's live streaming right now too, and every time I yawn, he yawns as well, so he's probably just as tired. But um, I think uh, if no one has uh, anything they want to talk about, ask about, um, I'm going to wrap things up, and uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, um, the stream will end. For those of you watching on Twitch, I'm going to see if I can raid uh, Jeremy's uh, live stream and uh, go from there. Um, but yes, yeah, so this Sunday, going to be doing a TOV podcast and should have our usual panel there. Um, it's probably just going to be a normal podcast. The last few podcasts we have had lots of guests, and it's been it's been a lot of work. And I haven't even released uh, everything from those podcasts yet, so I got to get I got to get I got to get on that as well. It's just uh, so, so much craziness happening. It's like the last month and a half. Um, but yeah, so that that's going to happen this Sunday, and I might give an update near the end of the podcast on how the uh, how this these season three episodes are going, but. I, I'm I'm on the home stretch now. I think. I mean, it's mostly just going to be reviewing everything. So watching like these last three epi episodes added up together, uh, nearly total an hour. So it's reviewing an hour's worth of of these three episodes over and over again to make sure everything looks okay, sounds okay, um, and not too much mistakes. I, I try to do as best as possible. Uh, so yeah, that that's what's going on. So we'll, we'll see what we're where we're at 
next Wednesday night. Hopefully it'll be starting the music. Hopefully it'll be starting the music. Um, <laughs> Rogue Ideal says, watching and rewatching to the point where you hate it. This is the way. Yes, this is the way. <laughs> Uh, I can't. I can't say the Mando. Um, like when he said, this is the way, you know. To, I don't know how they say it so emotionless, or emotionless. Yeah, without emotion, it's just, it's just like real flat um, t type of line. Um, just it's like an acceptance, you know, to that culture apparently. Um, yeah. Anyway. Hi, oh, Mando. That's something we talk about some other time. Um, but yeah, watching and rewatching to the point where you hate it, and and that's actually okay. And I had to re re reread a comment before finally getting it. Yes, I understand that process. At the same time, um, I usually don't like um, my edits. Um, like the really rough stuff i really i don't like it much at all like watching these three episodes initially when it was just r really rough edits i'm just like this is awful and it probably was but now that i'm watching them more with everything put together i'm i'm enjoying myself i i am enjoying every time i i do a little screening um to see the next the next best thing so it's gonna be fun i think it's gonna be fun anyway my throat is starting to go again so yes i'm gonna get some rest <clears throat> and uh, get this stuff wrapped um tomorrow morning and into you know, the weekend and next week but with that i thank everybody for watching i thank you rogue idealist for uh commenting and I thank everybody who subscribed, who's liked, who's commented, just who's any any participation at all in these in the last years. <clears throat> it's always been a big help, and I appreciate everybody for that. And since this is the last time we're probably going to um, edit uh, the sound um, for these last three episodes of season three, episodes eight, nine, and ten. I'm going to uh, finish it a little bit different, and I haven't done this in a while, so I'm trying trying to do my best to remember. But this is how it, because I, I usually <clears throat> I'm recording these, and I'll do like a whole um, <clears throat> uh, a whole bit on the Conductor Productions YouTube channel of what this is, and hopefully my throat won't go out. Hold on a second. <coughs> oh, that's awful. Here, hold on. Okay. Let me finish this right. All right. Okay, for those of you who are watching this on our Tales of a Hell YouTube page, this is an edited down version of what is going to be a very, very long set of live streams editing together all the sound effects for these last three episodes of Tales of a Hell Season 3. If you want to watch the full version of all of these, Go to our Conductive Productions YouTube page, which should be in the screen in front of you or a link in the description below. But with that, I appreciate uh, everyone watching. I thank you for watching. If you want to see, like, by the time this video gets out, all three episodes will be released, so there should be links in the description below somewhere for them. Check them out. <clears throat> they are wonderful episodes. Um, so with that, um, I am losing my voice. Thank you for watching. You have a purpose in your life. Find it, pursue it, live it, and we will see you next time. Bye now.